This is the basic overview video for Moodle. Uh, in this video we'll talk about where to find the link to Moodle, how to log in, and then have a brief overview of ba what a basic Moodle page looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to the internet. There are two ways to access the Moodle page from our district homepage. One is to just go to students, and this is where you direct students to log into Moodle. You can see there's a Moodle login right there, so I could select that. Another option is similar to the way that you check your email by going to Technology Department and Moodle login. Either way will work, there's no difference between the two. Okay, once you're here, you want to go ahead and log in. Um, depending on when you started using Moodle, your username is probably your first initial first name, then your last name, then your six digit birthday. Uh, if you have an issue logging in, go ahead and use this help me log in button right here. Your students, on the other hand, their login will be their full first name, dot their last name. So if it's John Smith, it would be Jonathan dot Smith. And then if they've never logged in before, their password is pass123. If they've changed it and they cannot forget, uh, they cannot remember it, have them use this um, username password retrieval as well. A good practice if a student has not logged in before, it, they'll be prompted to change their password. You probably want to have them change it to the same thing they use to log into the computer. Uh, that way, it's uh, easy for them to remember and it's a good password. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay. <clears throat> Once here, uh, this is kind of your, your Limburg Online Learning main page right here. Okay, I have a lot of items on because I have access to every class. You and your students will just see the classes that you're either enrolled in or uh, the classes that you are a teacher of. Once you're at this page, you want to go ahead and just click on the class that you want to enter. Um, I have created one for the purpose of this video in the sandbox category, so I'm going to click on that. And here's a basic blank Moodle page. Now let's talk about some of the items on this page and how this is set up. It's really three parts. Uh, the left part, the middle topic bars, and the right part where blocks go. Very important thing to to utilize is that administration block. Okay, um, here's where you're, you'll change your settings for your course. Uh, you can assign students. This is your grade book. Uh, some other features include this is where you back up and restore a course. Uh, you can do file management right here. A lot of different items in this administration block. We'll be talking about that in a future video. To the right is where you put what is called blocks. And these are just anything that kind of enhance the overall uh, interface of the Moodle page. Uh, you can add a calendar here, you can add like a third-party HTML site, um, you can uh, add some glossary entries, there's just kind of random stuff that you can put over here to kind of, uh, I guess, dress up the Moodle course. In the middle is, is the most important part. This is where you'll actually be adding resources, activities, where your students will be turning assignments in, so on and so forth. Uh, this, is, this course is really going to focus on what goes here going forward. In addition to that, you have this Turn Editing On. This is the button that you use to actually change or edit your page. And this has been the basic overview of Moodle.